Nice, finally, uh, <laughs> almost dropped that. <laughs> finally got one of these. <laughs> hey everyone, fun review today for the new Bernheim Barrel Proof from Heaven Hill. Bernheim Original Barrel Proof Wheat Whiskey now joins Heaven Hill's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Larceny Barrel Proof as a barrel proof whiskey that will be released throughout the year in numbered batches. The difference here is that the Bernheim will only be released twice a year versus three times a year like the Elijah Craig and the Larceny. So how did they do with the very first batch labeled A223? And let's find out, it's the Master Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe and help grow the channel for 2023. Really appreciate it. So I was really excited when I heard about this release but also a little hesitant. Um, if you guys have ever been down to the Heaven Hill Bourbon Experience and did, did the fill your own bottled experience at Heaven Hill in Bartstown, Kentucky, um, you get a chance to taste single barrels of Larceny, Elijah Craig and Bernheim. Now those are single barrels and generally every time I've done that tour and tried this one, haven't really been super impressed. Uh, so I was I was intrigued to try the, the uh, barrel strength version of it that's actually batched. So today we're gonna get into a little bit of history where the Bernheim name comes from, and I'm gonna get this poured. And while I do that, let's hear from today's video sponsor. It is the game changer, ladies and gentlemen, it is Z-Biotics. Today's sponsor is the amazing Z-Biotics. The prebiotic I've been using behind the scenes for a while now, with all the great feedback from viewers, it's really become the first drink of the night for a better tomorrow. So how does this stuff work so well? Z-Biotics was developed by some very, very smart scientists who knew the real problem is not dehydration. It's actually a byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. Now, Z-Biotics produces an enzyme like the ones your liver uses to break down this byproduct. Anytime I know I'm gonna have a few drinks or samples or do some blind tastings, I take Z-Biotics and the next day, I could wake up, I could get to work, I could get to the gym and bounce back faster than ever. All you do is drink one of these little beauties about an hour before you start drinking and that's it. You should still drink water to stay hydrated and as always get a good night's sleep, but Z-Biotics will make it a lot easier for you to get out of bed or get off that couch. It is real science that works. There's no random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, no sugar added. It's all natural, 100% a money back guaranteed. There is a lot to like here. All right, so I know you wanna give it a try now. Here's how you get it. Get 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics pre-alcohol prebiotic by clicking the link in the description box and use my code MASHINDRUM at checkout. Go to zbiotics.com slash MASHINDRUM or scan this little handy QR code on the screen right now and get 15% off your very first order. So scan that QR code, go grab some now. Thanks to Z-Biotics and to all of you watching for making these sponsors happen. Cheers, guys. So the name Bernheim actually comes from a person. His name is Isaac Wolf Bernheim, and he was born November 4th, 1848, in a small southwest German town. Now in April of 1867, despite his mother's strong reservations, Isaac immigrated to New York City with just $4 in his pocket, only to find his uncle's business had filed for bankruptcy. He then moved to Pennsylvania, and he tried to sell everything from scissors to handkerchiefs and even more. Now, unfortunately, that didn't really last long, and after hitting some struggles again, Isaac then moved and joined his uncle Mangold, who had since moved to Paducah, Kentucky, joining another uncle, Benjamin Weil, in business. Now, Isaac, not strong in sales, worked as a bookkeeper for the wholesale liquor business of Loeb and Bloom. So things were moving pretty fast for the two brothers, so much so that two years later in 1872, they opened their own liquor company called Bernheim Brothers Distillery, after a bad dispute with the owners at Loeb and Bloom over becoming partners with interest in the actual business. So Isaac Bernheim would also marry in 1874 to Amanda Uri Bernheim before the two brothers would begin production of their first corn-based Kentucky whiskey back in 1879, and they called it I.W. Harper. Fast forward to 1888 and the brand was growing in popularity pretty quickly. The brothers relocated their operations to Louisville, a major hub located on the Ohio River, simplifying their distribution strategy with a waterway. Fast forward again to 1937, Isaac W. Bernheim sold the distillery to Shenley. Today, the I.W. Harper brand is owned by Diageo and the Bernheim brand today is owned by Heaven Hill and the Shapiro family. Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey is named in honor of the Bernheim Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky. Bernheim Distillery was founded in 1992 by United Distillers, who eventually became Diageo in 1997, and then sold it to Heaven Hill and renamed Heaven Hill Bernheim Distillery in 1999, 
which has become Heaven Hill's primary distillery after the big 1996 distillery fire, which destroyed about 90,000 barrels of whiskey. Most people don't know that Isaac Bernheim was actually a huge philanthropist, always giving back, and Bernheim Wheat Whiskey was a nice way to preserve his name. So next time you have some Bernheim, at least you know a little bit more about the man behind the bottle. So real quick, by definition, wheat whiskey is similar to the definition of bourbon whiskey, except that instead of bourbon's minimum 51% corn requirement, there needs to be a minimum of 51% wheat. Now, unlike bourbon, wheat whiskey does not need to be a product of the United States. But like bourbon, to be labeled straight, the wheat whiskey must be aged in a new charred oak container for at least two years and the product of one single state. The Bernheim Barrel Proof A223 is bottled at 118.8 proof with an age of seven to nine years, supposedly, matched with a 51% wheat, 37% corn, 12% malted barley, priced at 65 bucks. All right, let's dive in. So the first note I get immediately is honey wheat bread. So I get that breadiness from the 51% wheat that's in here, but I get a ton of honey off the bat. It's very, very sweet. Get a ton of vanilla extract here. Some light caramel, not a lot of oak. There's a little bit of oak there. I'm actually getting pear in here, like a nice ripe pear. Almost like poached pears with like cinnamon, honey. It, this is actually coming off a lot darker than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be very bright, very sweet. This is pretty dark. It's got some nice flavors to it, at least on the nose. All right, let's try it. Let's see if it translates to the palate. Wow, I really get the apple and pear on the palate. Apple, pear, that cinnamon, like red hot is there. It's not so much a baking cinnamon, it's more like cinnamon red hots. A little bit of oak. Man, it's very sweet. But man, is this, I mean, you feel that, you feel that 118.8 proof, right? 118.8, 118.8. I knew I knew that. <laughs> Yeah, the second sip is fine. Again, more of that wheat grain is coming through here. A lot of apple, a lot of pear that, that I was getting on the nose is really coming through on the palate for me. That cinnamon, like red hot note on the, on the finish. I'm not really getting like baking cinnamon. I'm getting like cinnamon red hot candies on this. Let me go another sip here. But yeah, I wouldn't say like the, the front of the palate is kind of soft, not super soft. It's like, I think the, the finish is really what kind of makes this interesting. I think the front of the palate, all those sweet notes that you get, I think the honey, the wheat bread, that honey, that honey characteristic is still reigning, uh, reigning true here from the front of the palate to the mid palate. Then by the time it hits the back end, a lot of cinnamon, a little bit of toffee there too. It's got this nice combination of sweet and spicy. I did not think there was going to be this much spice in it. This is nice. I mean, I think the balance stays as you go from sip to sip, but it doesn't, it never really gets to a point where I'm like wowed by this. I, I will say this, I, I do like this better than some of the single barrels that I've had at the Heaven Hill Bourbon Experience. Some of those came off way too wheat forward. It was almost bready to a sense, um, like super bready. Uh, whereas this, this is a little bit more balanced. There's some sweet flavors that you can mess with here, but that finish on that is probably the one thing I did not expect. The finish is, I'm not gonna say it's a layered like finish, I mean, I think it actually drinks a little hot for what it is. Um, but the front to mid palate drinks like a wheat whiskey should be. It's very easy sipping, very, you know, balanced. But again, that finish is surprising. Honey wheat bread, brown sugar, little vanilla and caramel, some light flavors there, uh, some pear, some apple kind of make its way to the mid palate. And on the finish, get this nice like burst of like cinnamon red hot spice. So nice little balance of flavors. Time for the final breakdown. All right, final breakdown on the Bernheim Barrel Proof. Price for this one, $65. Secondary market value, I think I've seen these for like 120, something like that. I think that's the highest I've seen this marked up for. Availability for this one, I'll still say, like I say with all the Heaven Hill uh, Barrel Proof products, I'll just say it's wonky. Not really sure what the distribution level of this will be, but rather than three times a year to, to get it, like Elijah Craig and Larson, you only have two times a year to try to get this. Uh, value for this one. So it's $65. I actually think this is a really good value. I'm not going to go as far to say high value, but I'll say it's a good value. Um, I think there's not a lot of, you know, cast strength wheat whiskeys with this type of age on the market. The one that kind of pops to mind real quick is uh, Old Elk. They make a, a wheat whiskey with a higher proof that you could try. But generally those are higher priced than this is. 
So, you know, for value, I would say this is a good value. Uh, the most I'd pay, I'm not going any higher than retail for this. Uh, alternatives, uh, I mentioned one already, which is the Old Elk Wheat Whiskey, but if you also wanna try another one, but again, it's a very low proof, it's the Woodford Reserve uh, Wheat Whiskey, which is a very, very fruit forward uh, wheat whiskey as well. But I mean, there's not, like I said, there's not many alternatives to this one with this age. That's also readily available. All right, so recommendation, is it a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy or is it a buy and back it up? This one's tough. <laughs> I don't really know which direction to go with this one. It's like I like it, but I think that the Elijah Craig and the Larceny Barrel Proofs, and Larceny Barrel Proofs are getting getting better and better, um, I think surpass this. I think this is still kind of third in that lineup. So I think for me, this isn't a must have in the lineup uh, of Barrel Proof offerings from Heaven Hill. I'll go try before you buy. I like the flavors in this. I like the spice of it. But I think it is it is unique enough where it's gonna maybe set itself apart from Larceny and Elijah Craig, but not to the point where I think it's better than those two offerings, especially for the money. So for this one, even though I do like it, I do find it interesting, I'll still say try before you buy. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the Bernheim Barrel Proof Wheat Whiskey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this one, what you think of it, if you agree with uh, my uh, final breakdown. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it is the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mass and Drum. Take care, everybody.